Man U and Liverpool fan sitting side by side supporting the same team. The World Cup brings people from all over together. Once every four years, Singaporeans adopt a different country as their own, supporting the likes of Brazil, Italy, or Spain with as much fervor as if it were their own country. But the recent fiasco between StarHub and Singtel has infuriated many a fan, as football fanatic RJ can attest. I can't get, you know, Champions League because Singtel is nicely taken over that whole thing. Mio TV, fine, that, that's okay, you know. But hey, guys, no, you don't funny. have a line <laughs> in my area, so I have but to go uh, un- uh, some ulu yeah. out of the way. Uh. <laughs> but don't, you know, I've been suffering, and I have to actually pick this up going online, and actually, you know. Um, not watching it, but basically getting all the information online, all the um, words coming out, delayed. My friend telling me, go! Say, bloody hell, I got nothing coming out, no? <laughs> and then, about three, four minutes later, they tell you, go, who scored, you know? But this is the kind of thing, because I'm looking at, just pulling away from all this, in the near future, this is going to happen. It's going to go on the internet. And, you know, as the technology gets be- better, you know, all these big boys, you know, uh, are going to suffer because yeah. you can actually go online and pay for it. Because I'm waiting to actually go online and for, because I'm a Manchester United supporter, I'm just waiting for them to say, hey, okay, guys, you can actually go online and watch programs. I'm waiting for that. If these big companies are not careful, um, you're going to find people like Yahoo coming in, Google oh, yes, coming in. Yes, yes. Because they realize they got a global audience. Right. And they have to they charge. They've got the clout. They have to Once the technology million, gets there, they'll minimum. say, no problem, this is our bit, you match it. And, and, and the telecom companies, not just Singapore, they're, they're also, they're going to match it. And die. if the telecom companies don't get their act sorted out now, where they breed loyalty with the customer, where, okay, I'm paying a bit more for tea, but the loyalty factor is there. Which goes a long way, which I think both Starhub and Singtel have completely not factored in. It's all about money, you don't think about this. Satisfaction. That's why they don't even in put in money to do a proper job. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that would be the problem. Very soon, you get a good internet package. Everything's there. So let's say, worst case scenario, what if we don't get to work out here? What if we don't have the TV rights? What are the ripples and implications? I don't know. I, I, to me, it will not happen. I think we might, but I mean... I don't think so, Ben. I think it, it, it might. But I don't think you so. will That's see what happened... Uh, uh, Sorry to go on a little tangents, but there was a case in uh, in UK before where there were laws prohibiting the showing of live games at 3 p.m. because of the history of the English game. You cannot show it on TV. So what a lot of pubs did was get Norwegian cable, get uh, <laughs> Danish cable, and show the games. So if you're not careful, you see that something happening here. You know but then it's going to be against the law. Yeah, yeah it's against the law. But yeah, I'm sure yeah. they'll, work, they'll work out something <laughs> where but, you see. So let, let's hope and pray that this internet thing gets somewhere in the near future. We'll you guys see. are going to be screwed. <laughs> Another fine, if not cruel, example of how the internet can pose as the telco's biggest competitor yet. But before that happens, what can football fans here do if horror of horrors, we don't get to watch the World Cup on TV here in Singapore? Find out in the next clip.